Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder of CommitmentConnection.com. And today, we have a question from a woman in our community, and she's asking, Is he falling in love with me? How do I know? So, a lot of men don't like to admit when they're falling in love with a woman uh, for a variety of reasons. One being that, you know, if, if he's listened to much dating advice out there, he's probably been told that he shouldn't show that he's falling in love with you. Uh, just like, you know, there's a lot of crazy dating advice in the women's side. There's a lot of crazy dating advice in the men's side. So let's talk about the different signs of a guy who's falling in love with you. Um, the first sign that I have is that he will initiate contact with you. So a lot of times, uh, if a guy's falling in love with you, he's probably going to be thinking about you a lot. And, it, you know, so there's a there's a good chance that he will contact you, like send you a text message or something, um, just out of the blue, talking about maybe nothing. Um, and that's a good sign that he's falling in love. Again, you know, like I said before, there's a lot of dating advice that's like, don't, you know, don't text, don't, you know, send messages, you know, um, and whatnot. But, you know, there's a good chance. So if he's falling in love with you, that he's, he's contacting you. If he's, you know, if there is resistance, there might be, but he might still be doing it. And if he does, that's a good sign. Uh, the second sign is that he expresses his love to you, even without saying it. So um, there's several different ways that a man can express his love to you. And it might not look like what you would think it would look like. So a lot of women think, oh, well, if he loved me, he'd want to spend more time with me. Well, that's not necessarily the way that every guy expresses their love there's um there's a book out there called the five love languages and it talks about you know five different ways that people kind of give and receive love and one of them is uh physical touch so a lot of guys will want to touch you you know uh, a lot of there's another one that's uh it's receiving gifts but if a guy gives you gifts that might be his way of expressing love to you it could be that he wants to spend time with you it you know it could be that he wants to compliment you and and uh you know tell you sweet things all the time it just it really depends on the guy and it depends on it, the other one is is you know, service he might be uh, he might try to do things for you a lot so it really depends on what his way of expressing love is and so um, it, it kind of depends on the guy uh, the third sign that I have here for you is that he tries to protect you defend you or take your side and so this is a natural thing that a lot of guys will do when they're falling in love with a woman is that they will try to protect that woman they'll try to uh, get between that woman and whatever kind of thing that he feels is some kind of a threat he might um defend you um towards his friends or he might you know defend you take your side in an argument um even if he doesn't agree with your side uh so that's another sign um the fourth one that we have here is that he wants to meet he, uh, he wants you to meet his friends and family. And, you know, this may or may not be true depending on how, um, you know, how he feels about his friends and his family. And, and he may also want to meet your friends and family, um, which is another good thing sign that's kind of in the same realm as, as this one. Um, it it kind of depends, though, again, like I said, on, on how he feels. Some people, some guys are embarrassed of their family or they don't like their family or whatever. And so um, if that's the case, uh, <laughs> he might not. He, he might like you so much that he tries to avoid <laughs> you meeting his crazy family and friends. Um, but the likelihood is that he's going to try to get you to meet him and he's going to try to meet yours uh, and so the fifth one is that he hints at a future with you or deliberately talks about some type of future with you and spending time with you or doing something with you in the future so that's it for this video if you want information on what is stopping you from attracting Mr. Right into a committed, lasting relationship, make sure you go to my website at commitmentconnection.com. 
I'm Matthew Coast, and I'll speak with you again soon.